Hi, this is Pastor Steve with an encouraging word. I don't know what's happening at your house, but at ours, we're getting ready for Christmas. There's all the last minute things to do, one of which is to finish wrapping the presents. This one here is for my wife. I think when most people think of Christmas, they think of presents. They think of either gifts they'll receive or gifts they've gotten for others. And of course, the heart of Christmas is the gift God gave us in Christ Jesus. But gifts are an interesting things, aren't they? they? They often come in strange ways. What I'm talking about is something I read in one of Paul's letters. It's his letter to the church at Corinth. Let, let me read the verse for you. It's 2 Corinthians chapter 4, and verse 7. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels, so that the all-surpassing power is from God and not from us. Treasure in earthen vessels. That, to me, really speaks of Christmas. That's what God did, of course, in Jesus. He became flesh from the dust of the earth, our bodies, just like ours, and lie within that manger. That manger itself, how earthy can you get with all the smells of animals and, and in a stable and again lying in a feeding trough? But that's, again, a treasure in an earthen vessel. I think of Jesus' earthen vessel on a cross where he died for our sins. And in that earthen vessel, that piece of wood and that body there were, was the gift of forgiveness. And that earthen cave that held Christ's body well until Easter Sunday when he rose from the dead, again, a great treasure, resurrected life that came from an earthen vessel, a tomb. At Christmas time, we, we give gifts. This gift is for my wife, as I mentioned. And it's wrapped up in nice paper, but it's still just paper, and it's in a cardboard box. But the real treasure is what's inside. In fact, I'll let you in on a little secret. It's a piece of jewelry my wife has won. I don't tell her, but I finally got it for her for Christmas. But again, what's inside is of far greater value than the cardboard box and even the paper that wraps it, no matter how decorative. That's the way God's gifts come to us, I think. Treasures in earthen vessels. That's the idea behind the, the word we use in church called sacrament. It's something physical, earthly, but it has a spiritual significance, a power, a grace to it. You think of the Lord's Supper. It's a cup with juice in it. It's a piece of bread, but by the grace of God, it becomes so much more. It becomes a sign of his grace, a reminder. Same thing with baptism. It's just water, but water when applied, enthused by the Spirit. Again, it's an earthen thing, but it's got a heavenly treasure inside. It's got grace to give us. It's not just in presence. It's in God's gifts to us each day in this world. I think they sometimes come in strange ways, looking covered up. It's something earthly, but it's, it's got grace inside it. There's a treasure there. It's like receiving a Christmas card. It's a piece of cardboard, but inside there are memories and a connection with someone who may be miles away or maybe years away. That's a, a little reminder, a gift of grace. There's a treasure in an earthen vessel. Let me read you something my wife gave me. It's simple little things, but they have great treasure inside them. Once all villagers decided to pray for rain. On the day of prayer, all the people gathered, but only one boy came with an umbrella. That's faith. When you throw babies in the air, they laugh because they know you'll catch them. That is trust. Every night we go to bed without any assurance of being alive the next morning, but still we set alarm clocks to wake up. That's hope. We plan big things for tomorrow in spite of zero knowledge of the future. That's confidence. We see the world suffering, but still we get married and have children. That is love. On an old man's shirt was written a sentence, I'm not 80 years old. I'm a sweet 16 with 64 years of experience. That's attitude. All those are earthly things, but there's a treasure inside each one. Indeed, from the laughter of a child, text from a friend, the words of scripture in a, in a book, Presence in a box, a baby in a manger. 
Christmas is a time of gift giving and gift receiving. It's a lot of earthen vessels that contain great treasure. That's true at Christmas. That's really true every day. If we have but eyes to see and hearts willing and able to open them. And that's a word of encouragement today from Pastor Steve.